Hello everyone. Unfortunately, a small technical glitch happened, and I thought I did not lose some of the first hour of play, but I did. Luckily, the only thing that really happened was getting things together in the town of Javar, and then setting out, and then a slight descriptive journey, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then they rolled into the outpost, and that's about where the session picks up. Back to the bar conversation. Sorry. Um, you guys go up to the bar. There's Six the... beds. Uh, looking for... Um, what's what's on the fire? What are you making tonight? Oh, what smells just... so fantastic? <sighs> you must be smelling something else, stranger. I can tell you that. Nah. <laughs> When you've been eating nothing but uh, rations for the better part of 210 day, you, uh, anything hot starts to smell good. Man, you've been on the road for a long time, huh? A little bit. Uh, well, we got fish. Um, fish stew. Fries. That's about it, really. We've got some ale. That's Found a new way perfect. of preserving it across the seas. Oh. I'd, I'd love to hear about it if you're, you're willing to uh, share at some point, but uh, I do have some, some weary friends right now. Um, what's a bill going to come to of uh, six stews, uh, six ales, six waters, and six beds? Oh, that'll be about 20 <laughs> gold pieces. 20? Yeah, it's a lot of food and a lot of ale. Not to mention six beds. I gotta cough her up. Dust off. Yeah. <laughs> check. Oh, I dang. will. Uh, friend, it took you a bit to answer and come up, come up with that number. You wouldn't be trying to take advantage of some travelers, now, would you? I never, never in my right mind would I do such a thing. Now, let, let me ask you: Is twenty gold pieces fair in your mind? Fair to me. Fair to you. Perfect. <laughs> I give him 20 gold pieces. Okay. <laughs> is 20, 20 gold fair to you? It damn sure is to me, friend. <laughs> right. All right. Soul. <laughs> Soul. Okay. So, you guys get the L, and it has a floral scent to it and tastes quite bitter. Oh. Huh. Oh, this, great. Fantasy places have invented IPAs. Yep. Yeah, right. Essentially. Swarming me this place in no time. <laughs> Bearded, <laughs> platted hipsters will be swarming the outpost. <laughs> Got the thick glasses going and the uh, hipster dwarfs. Hipster dwarfs. <laughs> I don't know. I, I get the elves would probably be that, be that way. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, all the way from Devron. And Port Valor, another man says down the road. But I really have to get some water as well. One second, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. It's fucking shit tastes like piss. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts flowers in ale, really? I didn't ask for a mead. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Are you fucking serious? He just needs that, one of those. That is a hipster. Buns. That is a hipster dwarf. Like his hair back. Seriously. Yeah. It. I, all he does need. You're right, John. All he needs is a man bun, and it's complete. <laughs> oh god. It's totally complete. Yeah. You need to click on that on that link. That. Uh, <laughs> it's like damn. <laughs> Did you just type in hipster dwarf? I, I did. I just that couldn't. is awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I binged hipster. Oh, okay. oh, oh, what's this picture? Oh, what do I got? Oh, shit, another guy. You're like, fuck <laughs> you, man. Google, bro. Wow, wow. I, I'm about to dwarf it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, it is a second picture. I really do believe that you might have been that. <laughs> okay. No, no, I, I, I so, anyways. <laughs> Oh goodness, um, there's a lot. Yeah, you guys don't, drink don't the beer. It's extremely bitter, but after one beer, you start to notice a side effect. 
You're starting to get drunker than normal off one beer. Oh man, this shit is. I only, wow. only have about one. Okay. Drink it through the mask. Yeah. People <laughs> stare. It like dribbles out through the bottom. Like, you're only getting about like half the beer. <laughs> Just like. Are you drinking through the mask? Yes. People stare. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. All right. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. He graciously accepts Phil. Uh, and Carl's like, uh, "Too many people here. Something's going on." A little different than normal. Yeah. There's only about a quarter of this amount normally. Look at them. They all got swords. Almost every single one of them under their cloaks you see crossbows and short swords. And this is something you didn't actually. Uh, that you actually I'm like, didn't. I, I lean over to him and be like, um, we've got a lot of those things too. <laughs> uh, yes, but this is something that you didn't really yeah. notice at Judge first. not, lest you be judged. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, do we take note of of this? Oh, normally, he tells you. He role? tells you. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're all at, huddled at a table. He tells you um, that this is not normal. Does it look like any of them are in uniform or are congregating in like similar kinds of groups? You know what? And it's coming from a noble family that is based in Devon. You notice something that none of the others really know. All the cloaks in here that seem to be a haphazard assortment of colors seem to be all colors of major houses from Endeavor. Oh, good. Ooh. Well, so do I see anyone wearing a House Sarah's cloak? Just colors. And uh, only Aenos is privy to this information at the moment. Okay. All right. I'll say to them. Yeah, I, I men, have they're all from Devron. How do you know? All the colors. They're I'm familiar. I don't understand. Why wouldn't Quarrel have known that? Because I already asked Quarrel that. And he he is not from Devron. He is from Javar. So he just thinks they're close. So well, okay. he. All right. I described them to you as a random assortment of colors when you walked in, like of, okay. and. Ano sees a pattern here that maybe yeah they do are supposed to look like random assorted colors, but to the normal passers-by, but to him, they definitely appear to be major houses. At least the they're all colors from major houses. So after he says that, do I recognize anybody from House Sarah's at all? No. You don't? No, I'm serious. Yeah, I'm, I'm make a perception check. I'm just trying to confirm if, if like, every house except Saris is here, basically. Perception. Nope. You can't seem to... You don't know. You just can't seem to tell. But, yeah, that's... Anything else, guys? Do I recognize what houses they are? Yeah, um... You know, you see... All major five houses represented. Not hmm. your. All right. Yeah, not yours. Not your colors. Yeah. Um. Is anybody uh looking particularly at us? Uh, I mean, obviously we're new into the bar, but is yeah, anyone yeah, just yeah. kind of glancing around? Do you I know, make eye contact with people that quickly dart away? You your food has come and it, those, it, your your food gets <laughs> set down in front of you and. Yes, it, the barman was definitely correct to say that you must be joking with him, talking about fine food. It is slightly <laughs> above gruel at best. The fish is overcooked in the stew, and when picked up, it is not nice and firm. Instead, it just kind of turns into a mush as you uh, eat. You guys aren't really hungry. So you either eat a little bit and set aside, or you make a show of eating. I'll eat until I'm full, full, okay. and then I'll kind of let it settle. About halfway. That, and if I vomit it up, then I'll try to wash it down with this terrible f 
bouquet of ale. <laughs> you know, you say More that, of wine, but really. starting to grow on me. Hmm. Oh, I pick a flower off of uh, Exaden's hair. Yeah. <laughs> I was say, uh, it's punny, but dwarves don't like that shit. <laughs> so, Fel, you're, you've looked around, you've started to eat your stew. Some of you have not touched it at all. Other than <laughs> to just kind of stir it around and make it even more mushier. And, yes, there are some that are looking at you. Just over-the-shoulder glances towards your mm. direction. Um, just try and engage the party in some talks about you know, ruins. Give a a link, at, uh, you know, little wink, little eyebrow raise, and um, as I'm talking, you know, a thumb will gesture towards a table or a finger. You know, is not trying to make it super obvious, mm -hmm. but just pointing out to uh, the party. I feel like we've we've kind of traveled enough together that. We're, we are in somewhat hostile territory right now. Yeah. Carl may not pick up on it, but I'd expect kind of the rest of the party as an idea that we are being watched. As you're going through that, someone bumps into you, Atlas, and spills your floral beer all over you, and quickly you see in Thieves' that Camp, reflex save it, uh, in Thieves' okay, Camp, right. on the table, quickly spelled out um, in the spilled liquid, in the foam is just the word for outside and a cloaked figure oh, oh sorry 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 and he just goes outside okay uh my gut says it's probably who i think it is so um i'll, I'll tell the group that i'm gonna head out perception wise i don't know inside or something like that i just want to figure out if it if I'm pretty confident that it is who I think it is. Um, insight. What do you want me to roll for that? Definitely insight for that. Fucking A. Yeah, you're... You're not sure, but um, you have a good guess on that. Okay. Um, if I'm sitting next yeah, to Yeah, everyone is at the table. This guy just came over, knocked over Atlas's drink, drunkenly said he was sorry, and, yeah. and walked outside. I kind of want to incite that too, just because I'm like, uh. Yeah, incite that. This guy? I let him know that I think I know what's up, and then I, I want to go talk to the guy. And he said, it seems outside. that It seems that this guy wants Atlas to follow him. Is what you gain from it, Green. Uh, I believe your newfound friend wants us to follow him outside. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's an us. Yeah, I don't know if that's really an us, but um, I I wouldn't mind some backup just in case I'm wrong. But uh, so, I mean, I, I'm 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 sorry. Perhaps I didn't make that clear enough. I don't care if he wants just you to go. Us. <laughs> I'm not letting you go alone. Yeah. Um, the right, rest well, of you can sit around sipping the fruit. Um, we need somebody to, <laughs> one or two people to stay behind because we don't want to lose our food. We don't want to get it drugged. Oh, um, I think we're good at losing. <laughs> What's here? That's great. I mean, Are we I'll go with you. Up? Matt? I'll go with you if you want. What's that? Are we like wrapped up with dinner kind of a thing? Is yeah, yeah. Cool I'll, you guys have been done with dinner. It, uh, we'll those of you that wanted to be full, full ate about half of the bowl. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, then yeah, I'll head outside. Alright. Alright, you head outside. And, uh... So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll have the people that come with me kind of drop back while I approach the <laughs> okay. figure and confirm that it is who I think it is. Well, you as soon as you open the door, there's a figure beside the door, hood over. <laughs> he kind of glances out at the side of his eye and turns and walks away from you a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, you follow him, and a couple seconds later, Gream and who else? Oh, Phil, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Right. I'm going to stay with Carl. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out our, right. our so area. So, Exaden um, and, and Anos and uh, Gream head outside. Sure. Uh, you don't have to if you don't wish. No, that's, I think I'd rather. Okay, and I can't hear James, 
So I assume that's a yes. He's probably eating. Um, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I want to stay with Fel. Okay, fantastic. Okay, okay. so uh, it's the Gream, Atlas, Aenos, but Gream yeah. and Aenos are behind you. Uh, a little, yeah. like 15 gonna, feet behind. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to hang back and smoke. Yeah, I... So I'll, I'll approach him, right, and I'll just make eye contact with the guys and let them know that it's good, and I'll signal if I need them or whatever, but... Okay. Um, and who is it? He turned... Hello, my friend. It's Regus. You had to spill the beer, man. What the hell? You could have just... <laughs> uh, do you wish your friends to come here, or do you wish them to be over there inconspicuously? They're inconspicuous enough. Man had the smoke. That's fair, I suppose. You got my letter? I did, I did. Uh, it's good to see you, man. Uh, yes, I'll yes. shake his hand so that way the guys that are no, 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 no shaking of hands here. No, just pat me no? on my shoulder. Good, <coughs> good. I pat Damn. you on your shoulder. Yeah. There we go. Nice, man. So you're on a unit. That's getting shipped out to the new lands? A unit? I didn't even tell you. Yes. I forgot what the letter said. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he mentioned he was headed out here with some people. I don't know the details. I, uh, I, you have Saris, though, right? Yes, I yeah. took your advice many months ago about trying to get in with House Saris, and I finally earned the trust of the Council of Five. And was able to land this top secret job. Lucky for you, I might be able to be persuaded to let loose some information. And it's uh, you know, you know, the world's crazy right now, man. I mean, yes. it, people, thousands, thousands of people died, right? And uh, it. It sucks, man. I mean, I've got gold, but I like money. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's like it's like, it's like I got gold, but in, in the scheme of things, man, we're really working on something a lot heavier than it was not than easy. Just our normal stuff. And he shows you his left ear, which is now cut off. This is because oh, of goodness. your influence. I demand to be paid for my well. Why for did, your cunning. <laughs> why, did, why did you lose your ear? Is, uh, I was hazed. Essentially, <laughs> they interrogated me. They thought me a spy. Luckily Gee. for you, and <laughs> luckily for me, I am able to keep secrets. At great okay. loss. And it's... Um... I don't have much on me, but as far as we have a we have a town, we have an outpost. You know, you can have a house and, and land. I mean, that's really where the money is it, for me right now. Is tied up in in the the town we're building. I don't think you understand the motive of my move here. That is uh, nothing to me. I will give you information freely, of course, some. But if you truly wish to know why we are here, that uh, you will have to pay me for. But, essentially, it shows you this weird insignia you've never seen before that essentially two triangles overlapping each other, one on top of the other. Like a star, Dave, basically? Uh, no, no think of uh, more like... Mm. The Tri Delta. <laughs> it, it's uh, like a triangle on top, and then the point of the second triangle is on the other triangle, but not. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So they're just overlapping, like that. I am third in command for now. Damn. And uh, we have set up this outpost to collect certain information from those who come this way. And via our own scouting parties. Oh, so they're running the show. Damn, hmm. dude. Yes. Is doing good. And by this outpost, he means this outpost, right? Yes, like, not a yes, yes, he means this outpost. 
I wonder yeah. if he knew we were coming here. Oh, Meta. Yeah. So, um, who who else passing through? Have you been on any any tours to the mostly, new raised land? Or? Mostly just the Dragon Hunters Guild and Adventurers Guild, and various scavengers like. But also troops from uh, Lysen and some scouting parties from Eredin and all the other various uh, countries except Torvaxel who has no has shown no interest in these new lands out east um because like anything I, I'm just worried about insulting him like do, do how much gold would is he kind of hinting at like in, in a lot. my past experience he, he lost an ear he climbed the ranks of uh, a secret society well not so secret the he climbed the ranks to earn a top secret job for you um, he's looking for probably in your mindset make an insight check I've been rolling terribly tonight. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He's probably looking upwards of around three to five hundred gold. To give some prudent information. He might be able to be talked down, you feel, a little bit, but it's still pretty high. Meanwhile, Green and uh, Anos, you see this exchange take place. They pat each other on the shoulders, and they're talking pretty close face to face they're they're about like eight inches away from each other at this point just kind of whispering okay um do you guys want to do anything or do you want me to jump back to my cut depends if they're gonna do anything you can, they're talking well, very I mean, quietly i'm i'm probably gonna just trust you to do your thing i mean you know i'll just keep you in the corner of my eye otherwise trying to look as inconspicuous as I possibly can. Okay, sounds good. <sighs> Fucking mask. Uh, yeah, exactly. I so, start singing songs while puffing smoke. <laughs> there you go. This place is in need of a good tune. Uh, mm. The Re Regus. It tells you all so, all the information because you wish to know more. Um. So I. Uh, did I ever tell him about like the gold mines or the ore mines yeah, or yeah. anything like that? You did on your last talk. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought. So it's like he should know what I'm working on too. You know what I yes. mean? So, um, I will uh, I'll fumble around kind of in my pocket, right? I'm collecting gold pieces or platinum pieces, technically, um, yeah. together, and I will. Um, I'll give him 25 platinum pieces and tell him that. 250 gold, okay. Yep, and I'll tell him that um, there's there's a lot more where this came from. I just need to be alive to collect it. We've got active mines. And he rubs there's a, s s like scarred mess of an ear. Uh, well, yes. Well, so, and, but I tell him that, that what he's going through, I'm also working on something as well. I mean, we're building a town and we have mines and there's there's a lot more to be made than just a couple thousand gold. I mean, well, that that mine is worth millions. We have something in common, then. And he pockets the two fifty. Our actual motive here, and he looks around, looks up, looks in the corners, is to create the region of land that we can populate and rule as a vassal of Erodinia as a tool of the Council of Five and compete well, compete with the other nations eventually hmm. much of like the you're doing almost so uh, why would you rule as a va so um, I'm having issues with the map again so Erodinia is, is Devrin in Erodinia? Devrin is in er Erodinia there's a journal in the journal, yeah, there are I mean, handouts. Oh, wait, not the... Yeah, there's a political, political map, map of the old map. So, 
so Aerodinia, right? But yeah. um, Devrin is Devrin Aerod is in Lyson, right? No, Devrin is in Aerodinia. Is in Aerodinia. This okay, Aer all right. Well, then that that makes sense then. Yeah. Cool. Um. So. Does that mean that you're you guys are going to go straight to war with Aerodin? No, it's Aerodin. uh. There is something. No, we are not going to go to war with them. We will be our own land, just under the tutelage of Aerodinia. So who is they? I mean, like who? Who are you representing? It, it seems like you're representing specifically House Ceres. Ceres wants his own land, his own empire. Ceres has ambitions. Yes, he thinks there's great power in these lands somehow and he wishes to build on them I do not know if he wishes to take over my kingdom which it will be my kingdom <laughs> or what but we will be a vassal of Devron secretly this will take many years and may end in my death but may end in your death right but the rise, the rise is what's important. So, yes. Um, do you do you do you see a problem with the land I'm creating? I think that two strong, independent lands that have each other's backs are more powerful than than two weak ones. I'm listening. Uh, we have we have regular council meetings, and we are heavily backed and financed. So, I mean, it, it would require you to come hang out and see the operation that's going on, but. What? I wouldn't call heavily backed and financed. Um, Wait, I'll, I'll flow a bluff, bluff check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do excited. a deception check on that one. Um, we're, we're, we're thirty thousand gold, man. That's not more anymore. Than you don't I've seen his entire life. It, it's I, uh, uh, man. It's equity. It's, it's equity. You, yeah, you have equity. Yeah, it's not really, not really a super lie, but I mean, it's like yes. Uh, you seem to be mostly telling the truth. Yeah, I mean, it's we we don't have the gold are, in terms of gold. We have that now. Are We're you building. suggesting when we finally get our orders after we file a report five months from now? Uh, he tells you about a report that. Uh, I love how he looks at his clock. Five yeah, yeah. <laughs> months from now. Uh, <laughs> What is this technology? Um, I, guess, I have a sundial. Ooh. I have a calendar on my uh, wrist. Just one second, one second. Oh, my food's here. Yeah, go get it. This guy, though, I'm telling you. No, this always guy, eating. Always eating. <laughs> always shifting about the room. <laughs> you know, we're trying to have a moment here with a secret contact, and he's like, "Hey, buddy, can you hold that thought? I got it. Look, there's some food coming." Oh, out. there's hey, the food. There's the food. Ear. He's flipping us off. Okay. <laughs> sorry about your ear and shit. <laughs> Anyways, he goes. So, uh, so he, you're, he's working directly for House Sayers, right? Like that's his employee. He's working. Who, yes. What you, he is. He tells you, on the surface, I am working for the Council of Five, but. We are really working for House Ceres. But really, I'm working for myself. <laughs> Only me and a couple others know this, and I will eliminate them. Um, does he have... A, I tell him that I'm working on, on an identity. Um, and in, does he have any, any random artifacts that would be able to help bolster my identity within House Ceres? Because I, again, artifacts, no, no artifacts. I don't have. Uh, but uh, if I think you're proposing what I think you're proposing, then I think it makes no sense for us to be enemies. Uh, and quite honestly, you, you my want me to Wilson's break my bond to one of the largest countries in power. To m make two nations that are separated by, oh, 600 miles. <laughs> uh, you want, and we are just not even there yet. We have to submit 
we don't have the authority to create this. This will be about a year from now. If it all goes according to plan, we still have to do the land size, the threats of the land, the fertile areas, water location, quantity and quality over there. You see, it will be a while. We should table this for now. That's fine, man. I'm just telling you that, that our operation is going quite yes. well and I will you be leading it. Make a persuasion on that. <laughs> and I will be leading it. I like that. And not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, not any of you guys, right? <laughs> well, no, I, not me anyway, but I just thought it was friggin' hilarious. Yes. Again, I'll be running it. You seem not to you. have <laughs> put the seed in his head. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Sounds totally fucked It was good. Okay. Let me just um, cool. Just well, I tell here. him it's great to see him, um, but obviously we, it's not like we can have a beer together, and I tell him to have a good night. Um, yes. But is he... This is his home base, right? So if yes. I wanted to arrange another meetup, I could just come back here yes. and, and chat with him again. And then, is that pretty much everything? I, I don't know. Yeah, he said he's on assignment for six more months here, at least. Okay. And then a report needs to be filed about the land quality and such like that. And then his uh, dream might come true, but it's going to be a while. And he has many assassinations to go through before he works his way up. <laughs> I'm third in command now, but I'm hoping to kill the next two and really take over. <laughs> He's I like, mean, but that's going to take some time. He basically told you that. Yeah, yeah, I know. He was like, I'm third in command, and I'll be killing my way to the top <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> so, so I don't so, know what else to ask, because honestly, I'm sure I had a bunch of stuff, but I can't think of it right yeah. now. So. Okay, that looks really good. But um, He's like, Fum. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for you. Uh, Atlas comes back to you, seemingly unharmed, Grim and Anos. I take it your conversation went... And I look back at the guy. But he's gone. Swimmingly. By the time... Yeah, he's... Well... Almost disappeared. I look back at where he was at. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, it went well, but can't really discuss here right now, but definitely later. Oh, I, on the, it, on the road, maybe. I, I'm sure it was worth... The conversation. Uh, shall we go back inside? Sounds good. Good. All right. Okay. You guys. As Atlas goes in, he kind of is shaking off the the beer. So he thinks yeah. there's better ways yeah. that could have happened, but you know. Yeah. He, Everybody's he, looking at us when you walk in. You're like, I had to whoop the guy's ass. Well, in his <laughs> mind, you know, every, he knows the situation of the room, and people are looking at you, and he, he didn't want to be all friendly with you essentially right mm. but anyways um yeah meanwhile fell is there anything you and uh excited is there anything you wish to discuss while they're outside uh no, not really not not in particular i mean uh i i brought the the stuff back to the area uh any um i guess any food wise i'm looking for anyone who who actually might need it is there anyone that's actually kind of looks famished, hungry, something like that? Not really. Everyone looks okay here. You know, right. it, the way it looked, you could bring it back and leave it in the room for like four days and it would probably keep. <laughs> I mean, that's probably. <laughs> this shit will stick to your bones. Yeah, it, it does <laughs> it not, not look very good. Away. Um, yeah, I, I will take the beers and the waters, though. So, uh, back to the bunks. Um,. Of a kind of a sitting area. Um, I I might just shoot the shit with Carl a bit. Um, just getting a little yeah, being friendly. Nothing precise. Um, you know, kind of knowing a little bit more about his past, what he's done. Okay. Uh, telling some of our stories, shit like that. But nothing uh, nothing really that that he's needs a, an actual conversation. He, he is a great listener. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, He's God. really thinking about other things. That's tough. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he just seems to be a great listener on all your troubles. Um, but yeah, nighttime falls. Nothing terrible has happened to you guys. Carl um, leaves for a moment. Well, we got our bunks over there. Uh, I... Wake up early in the morning, okay? That's all. 
we got to take that very just, first thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're cool. All right. And uh, you guys actually go to sleep, and nothing really bad happens in the night. Uh, just evil mm -hmm. stares, you know, uh, as you're walking to the bunks. Maybe the guy sold some of the members of the guard their bunks. That's probably <laughs> likely what happened. Um, but you haven't made... You haven't stood out too much like a sore thumb. Uh, Quarrel just kind of gives his nod of approval, and you guys sleep soundly. And then you're woken up by him around uh, four in the morning. It's time to get up. Up. <clears throat> we need to go. Let's move. All right. Let's go. Quiet. And, I uh, keep an eye out to see if anyone else is rustling. Yeah, no one else is rustling. They're tuckered out. Uh, it's uh, raining <laughs> slightly. Yeah, yeah. No problem. It's... You guys make your way out uh, to the stables. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, I was just about to take care of your horses for you. Hey, guys. I was just about to go to bed. Um, <laughs> I got... You need camels, right? It hurts you over talking about it. Um, we do. You know, well, rent them. It'll be five gold pieces of camel for about a month if you bring them back. If they don't return, I get to keep your horses, or yeah, you compensate fall. me <laughs> fairly for their loss. Uh, I'm finding that this outpost is very expensive. <laughs> It's out oh, here like, on the fringe, away like, from... It's like it's like Carl said, hey, just be careful not to lose your gold. And we all assumed we were going to get robbed, you know, outright. <laughs> but no, we're just get taking it in the ass everywhere we go. <laughs> hey, uh, can I get a beer? Yeah, sure, that'll be 20 gold. <laughs> what? <laughs> can, I, can I rent a camel? Yeah, it's going to be like 20 gold. Yep. San Francisco <laughs> prices, bro. <laughs> Apparently. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll ask him the same thing as, do you feel it's a fair price? Why? <laughs> you know the answer. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, mean, man, like, that's a fair price. Five gold me. pieces per camel for a month? Yeah, that's fair. If you don't bring one back, then I get to keep your horse, or you pay 50 gold pieces. Sold. All right. All four? Huh. Or five? Yeah. Uh, five. Uh, oh, no, four. Uh, Carl will pay for his own. Okay. Because uh, Exaden uh, will summon a hell camel. Can he do that? Yeah. I yeah. can. Yep. All right. He can uh, summon a hell camel. Uh, yeah. That's perfectly fine, though. All right. It's actually pronounced cam hell. Cam hell. Cam okay. Hell. You summon a cam hell. Uh, did, when do you wish to summon your cam hell? Um, if they're uh, negotiating with this in the morning, I probably would have started the ritual right. right after waking up. What does your cam hell look like <laughs> it's basically what? a like, like jet black camel oh with god like a flaming like horns uh, wow damn okay jet black with um, flaming horns uh you guys want, you guys leave the uh you thought ano stood out uh with his mask uh you guys go outside I've been the whole time I I've know. got like curved devil horns. I know, I know. You, you guys, and it spits. Go out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go outside, and you see a source of light. All of a sudden, you don't really see oh, what just, it's attached to. You just see two glowing horns of fiery and light. And hooves that probably, and then, you know, catch on fire. Jet black camel. You're like, oh wow. Oh, I see. You got the hot rod model. Perfect. <laughs> hey, is that going on the ferry with us? Yep. Yeah. 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 That's that's gonna be some talking. Yeah, uh, it'll be fun. But it spits death, so don't worry about it. It's yeah. cool. It's, so, it's got mad rhymes, dog. Mad rhymes. Mad rhymes. <laughs> it's it's uh it's mixtape is straight fire. Okay. What's your name? My name is Cam Hill. Cam what Hill. You say to me? H to the L. <laughs> Cam Hill. Don't forget it. All right. So, uh, Carl leads you to the ferry. And uh, there's no one on it, but there is a uh, little old woman 
There you go. Tiny little spectacles. Oh. Eh! Torches this time of night, huh? Why is that? Eh! Eh! What are you gonna do for you? We need a ride. Eh! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Camel. Camel. Looks at your, uh, Cam Hell. Camel. Uh, cam camel. Camel. Yes, camel. All right. Uh, no, oh, that'll be ten gold across the river or the sea for the total. Yeah. How how long is the the voyage we're looking at? Uh, uh, about an hour and a half, oh. two hours. Is that a uh, ten gold there and back? There. Why do you need to come back so soon? Well, not right away, but eventually we'll need to. Well, I'm not going to wait on the other side for you. Oh, <laughs> Phil, absolutely Phil. not. But I'm I'm worried about how we get back. Phil, I don't. Yeah, think you're not you, waiting on the other side. I don't think you need to ask her if that's a fair price. I think we know the answer. <laughs> 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 She's going to charge us ten yeah. both way for for one way. So, well, ten I mean, gold. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what. I'll pay the ten gold just no, no, so we can no, get on. No. How do we it, signal her to get to the other side? That's that's, you, that's kind of a concern right now. Is how do we get back? You know what? Don't worry. Your back. cam hell will be the beacon that Gondor signals for aid. Oh, well, hey, you well, just I wait on the other side in the early morning, I guess. How are you guys going to get back? You'd uh, come back each morning for us? No, no. I only go over there when someone needs to go over there. And if there's someone waiting at the station, I bring them back. How often do people go over? Ah, recently, every other day or so. Okay. Um, the ten gold you feel is a, a fair price. Yeah, for, it's fair. For it's fair. Fifteen gold there and back. Ah, those torches are bright. She seems to mistake your uh, Camhell's horns as torches. <laughs> I mean, 15 gold up front today. Uh, you know these deserts. If we die out there, listen, Sonny, you've got your money. I don't have time. Oh, mistake. I'm just gonna pay the woman. Look at me. I might not be around in a month for a down payment. Fair enough. <laughs> Ten gold. That I can spend it. all comforting. <laughs> Another will rise in my place. Died. Stuck on the other side. Yes, yes, yes. We can always go around. Yeah, it's then true. Why are we not going around now? Dangerous, but true. It's a hell of a lot faster not to. A lot of giants up there. That's why. Where's this uh river or whatever on the map? Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's not really a river. Um, it's this gap right. Oh, I am in ruler mode. That is why. Nice. Uh, I need to be in this mode. I will move. I can't move it. Come on now. It is... Well, this little area right there. Okay, I'm confused by the map all of a sudden. Uh, th this is... Uh, the mountains? All of this stuff yeah. here is water. All that's water. Where the mountains are is land. Right. So we're we're roughly here. Yep. We, we came from here. Yeah. We would have to go up and around, or we can take the so ferry our, across. Because we don't know where our destination is, it's not on this map. Correct. Okay, I thought the ruins with the X was our destination. Oh no, that, that was your... That that's, that's the last ru... That was the dwarven uh, leg. Yeah. That we, okay. Um, yeah, that was the dwarven leg we went through. I'm falling Actually, now. You weren't there for that night, were you? I don't think so. He, no, he, so, no right. he was. He was uh, there for the... Well, that's... Uh, that's when he got his great sword, but connection right. issues and stuff. So he yeah, had to hop okay, um, right, 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 right. Okay, yeah. But so that was the last set of ruins, and then we went back to Javar. We went right. back to we town. We went back to oh. town, back to Javar. We we went around into here. Yeah. So this uh, this is what took the six. This sort of years. like uh, it's. That's your mountain range right there. Where? Yeah. Okay. That's the the bit of reference I needed. Yep. Now I know where we are. Yep. 
Yep. All right. So we're we're trying to cross here, and the ruins should be in this area. Yeah, you're thinking anywhere in this area. Anywhere in this area. Yeah. That's a fuck of a lot of area. Okay. Uh, but he's thinking it's more going to be around this area. Okay. About 400 uh, miles like, away. You're describing a. Oh, we're a region that, bigger than our entire <laughs> nation. nation. Yeah. That I mean, is that scale right? Um, Ten miles across this. It is. Well, it's going to be a little bit longer than that. It's going to be yeah, about like twenty miles or so. Well, even twenty miles, we should be able to see the other side. It's right? foggy. Kidding. And All right. it, it would be. It's it's a little bit past the horizon. It's like yeah, it's not quite. Maybe, okay. well, yeah. So. Like, we'd be able to see a mountain range at the other side, yeah. but we wouldn't actually be able to see the shore. Yeah. No. At yeah. 20 miles? If it was a mountain range, you could see it. But it's due like to the water... Feet. Yeah, I mean, you can maybe see something that <laughs> resembles landmass way, but no, no details at all about it. No, no, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm just looking at... Uh, regardless, yeah. um... It's the isn't, shortest isn't distance particularly important. Yep. between the two points that um, the ferry is uh, going at. Anyways, is anybody going with us? No, it's just you guys. Awesome. All right, you is, guys uh, all hop yeah. on the ferry. Let's rock out. Yeah, you have safe travels now. Yes. Be good. Yeah, so. Thanks, lady. Yes, no problem at all. Okay, uh, you guys get on the ferry, and she just starts paddling. Paddle. What Paddle. is this powered by? I gotta uh, get. Uh, you'll find out in a second. Paddle. Okay. And then all of a sudden, she opens this like, and when I say ferry, I don't mean a big boat. I mean it's a big long piece of flat wood. It's almost like a barge, more like okay. Uh, yeah. Medieval barge type. And also, but there's this big helm, and she opens it up, and there's this glowing orb, and she pushes it down, and all of a sudden it goes, <laughs> this humming noise produces, it, it kind of reverberates through the water, and you hear it, and the water starts to churn, and it starts going faster and faster and faster, and finally you're cruising pretty good. All right. Well, how about that? Yep. So, um, hour two go by. You're on the other side. A uh, lush, vibrant green lands await you. But That's past that, oh. past the immediate shoreline, it starts to turn in the desert. And Doug, I think you're muted. If Dang you know. it! I was so excited. I was like, "Are we out of the fucking desert?" No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. You have. You're just yeah. entering the I'm desert. Good, sorry. No, you're fine. So that's why I couldn't tell yeah. if you were saying anything or not. Uh, I, I was, but <laughs> <laughs> you're like everyone's ignoring me. But <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm used to that. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, so you reach the lush grass. And have a good day. And she turns the boat around. Very slowly, she has like got a long pull. Her arms seem to be incredibly strong for an old woman. <laughs> She's got like <laughs> ripped arms. She's like, "Ah, hey, you guys have a good day." And, <laughs> you know, she shrugs and muscles have to move out of yeah, the way. I mean, first. it takes her like <laughs> thirty minutes to like turn, start turning the barge around with her really long pull. But then, as soon as she gets it turned around, she hits the button and cruises the other way. You never really asked, but I s sort of assumed. I know it's human-centric of me, but this woman was human? Yeah, uh, yes, she was. Okay. That's why she said she didn't know. She might not have much time left. Because <laughs> she already seemed pretty ancient. Well, if she was like an old dwarf, she'd be really, really old then. That's I don't true, know. that's true. But no, old female woman. I uh, human. Okay, Carl? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, Come on, Carl. Right here, we will take our quick, normal five minute break, and we'll be back. All right. Yay! Cool. cool. <laughs> Move some more water.